In developing news, the judge in former President Trump's federal case related to the January 6th ordeal has set a date for trial. Ironically, the trial will coincidentally coincide with one of the biggest election days on the presidential primary calendar, leaving many looming questions about the timing of events. Natalie Brand has the details from Washington, D.C. Former President Trump's attorneys did not get the 2026 trial date they had pushed for in his federal election interference case. Instead, the judge has scheduled it for March 4th of next year. The judge, I think, largely was just not buying what the defense was selling here. I think what the judge acknowledged here is that there is a public interest in a speedy resolution. Jury selection is scheduled to begin the day before Super Tuesday, when 15 states hold GOP primary contests. It also comes three weeks before his New York trial related to alleged hush money payments to adult film actress Stormy Daniels. Trump told a conservative radio show Monday that his supporters are still with him. Usually if a thing like that happens, that's the end of your pol political career. That's true. And what happens is they get it because they see that the nonsense that they're talking about, it's nonsense. Judge Tanya Chutkin emphasized she intends to treat Trump as any other defendant and said he will have to make the trial date work regardless of his schedule. That schedule will also include court dates in Georgia on charges of conspiring to overturn the 2020 election in that state. Trump and 18 co-defendants are scheduled to be arraigned on September 6th. I have a strong feeling that District Attorney Fonnie Willis is going to be trying a number of different iterations of this case because it will be difficult to try all the defendants at once. One of those co-defendants, former White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows, was in court today asking that his case be moved to federal court. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Washington.